to change or add a restriction or policy to your devices. First, we must go to Manage and then All Policies. First, we will discuss how to edit an existing policy. Policies are generally at the very bottom labeled as restrictions and we would select the blue hyperlink. Once it is loaded, you would find the restriction that you would like to change. For example, I would like to change the ability for my users to no longer be able to factory data reset their devices. For Android, there is one option where it says allow factory reset, we would change to no. For Apple, we would scroll down a little bit more to where it says allow erase content and settings. We would change this to no. Once we have made the changes to the existing restriction slash policy, we would hit save. Once it is refreshed, as you had just seen, the new policy has been added to the devices and now the devices must be checked in. To create a new policy, we'd go to Manage, Create New Policy. We would scroll down to the policy we would like to change or add in this case, I want to add a passcode policy. We will give it a name. In this case, I want to make it something that I can remember and make it relate to the actual policy. So I'm going to name it passcode. I do not want them to be able to have a simple value, so we will leave that as no. But I do want to have a minimum passcode length of four. And that is all I need. Now I will select save or create a little floppy disk and then assign. I want this to go to all my devices and users because I always want them to have a passcode. So I will hit assign and then close. Now that we have added this passcode policy, we must once again go check in the devices. To do that, we would go to Manage, Search Devices, select the device, send command, and then check in. Once you select the check in command, you would send the check in command with a little crosshair and it will give us a block saying check in command has been sent. Close. Now this device will be prompted or asked to provide a passcode on the device and it will always have to have said passcode. Your SIGREP may have mentioned to you a kiosk mode. A kiosk mode will allow the end user for the devices to only see certain things on the device and prevent them from downloading their own applications. To do this, first we must compile a list of what are called identifiers. For applications such as Apple, we would go in, select the application, we would copy the identifier We go to manage, create new policy. Once we have all of the identifiers that we want the, con the end users to see, we'd want to go to app control. You will have to do this for both Apple and Android devices for two separate lists. For example, we will be doing Apple devices. First, we want to name it. So I'm going to name it Apple Whitelist. Platform type, 
because it is Apple, we must select iOS slash iPad OS. For the applications we do want to see, we want to have a white list. Here, we would put in all of those identifiers for the applications we do want. We would select whitelist all assigned apps and change this to yes. Hit create. Once again, we must assign it to all devices and users or to whichever group you would like it to be on and then assign. Once it is successful, once again, we must go and check in the devices.